Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the F1, whether it be Mexican Grand Prix. Um, this is actually almost the end of this season, but it doesn't really, but it doesn't really matter because Verstappen has already really won the championship. But before we get into Mexico, let's talk about next week's race, which is, I think it's next week, I'm pretty sure. No, two weeks from now, it is... Brazil, it is at Sao Paulo, it is the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache, uh, and this is going to be the penultimate race until Abu Dhabi. Let's have a look at the schedule. So, November 11th will be FP1 and qualifying, so there will be a sprint race, which will be interesting. Uh, FP1 outside at 12.30 to 1.30, qualifying outside at 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, FP2 in the sprint. Uh, the, the, both of them will be on November 12th, FP2 will start 12.30 to 1.30, the sprint will start at 5, sorry, 4.30 to 5.30. Then got the race at no, uh, November 13th, uh, that'll be on 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Yeah, 5 o'clock, there we go. So once again, two hour race, um, standard F1 races, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say really about the Brazil. Let's now talk about um, this race, which is at Mexico. Take a guess who won. What else is Max Verstappen? Who saw that coming? Absolutely no one. Um, and then in 11, in, sorry, in second place, we got Lewis Hamilton, then Sergio Perez, George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo, Esteban Ocon, Lando Norris, and Valtteri Bottas, man, out to top 10. Then for the rest of the drivers, uh, we have uh, Pierre Gasly, Sebastian Vettel, Joe Guan Yu, sorry, Alex Albon, Joe Guan Yu, then Sebastian Vettel, Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Kevin Magnussen, and Nicholas Atifi, and, the and then the two drivers with GNF, that being Fernando Alonso and Yuki Tsunoda. Uh, Russell scored um, the fastest lap, and Ricardo received a 10 second time, uh, time, 10 second time penalty for causing a collision, but it didn't really matter because he was 13 seconds up the road from Ocon. So, stuff that happened. Firstly, we need to talk about Pierre Gasly because he was being a naughty boy. Uh, he received a five second time penalty for forcing Stroll off the track. Um, but obviously, he served out during this piss off, so it didn't really matter. Lap 42, uh, Valtteri Bottas and Esteban Ocon, they were battling for a bit. Uh, Ocon finished in eighth place, Bottas finished in tenth place, Norris splitting the two. Uh, lap 51, this is how Ricardo got the 10 second time penalty. He collided with Yuki Tsunoda in that weird, like, double apex hairpin. Um, that, that part, um, I mean, it was a bit, I mean, I can, I can understand that, I mean, he was going for a gap which probably wasn't going to exist, um, so I can understand the FIA's decision there, um, but it didn't really matter though, because Ricardo was 13 seconds off the road from Ocon, so the turn second kind of didn't really matter to him. Uh, Love 65, Alonso off the track. And out, that was because of a power unit, I'm pretty sure, power unit issue for Fernando Alonso. He's been having a lot of reliability issues this season, which is very unfortunate for the two-time champion um, who will be going to Aston Martin next season, which is still bizarre to me. And lap 71, Verstappen wins. Who saw that coming? Absolutely no one. Um, he's also now broken a record of the most amount of wins in a season, that being 14 after surpassing Michael Schumacher in 2004, I'm pretty sure. And Lewis Hamilton in, where is it, 2020, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure it was Hamilton who got the most, in, who got like 14, sorry, 13 wins in 2020. Might be wrong, I need to double check that. But Verstappen now has 14 wins in a season. He's been incredibly dominant, just like how Shane May Gisberg is dominating, is, is currently dominating in his supercars, which he has like 21 wins, I'm pretty sure, in like 34 um, out of the 34 um, well, as of right now, 32 races, coming up to two races in December. But Supercut doesn't really matter. F1 is where, is where, we, re, is where we, we really need to talk about. So that is a race. Nothing, nothing much really happened. It was kind of a doozy moment. Kind of a sleeping moment, I'll be honest. It was, very, it was not, not really a good race. So it's like there, there was some good battles there. Ricardo coming up from the field after pitting uh, for socks, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. I can't remember where he was during the Sonoda crash. I think it was maybe like 12th or 11th, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so he, he made up his way up the field, got up to 7th. Um, and he actually got drive of the day as well. So there we go for the Honey Badger, who will be sadly leaving McLaren and might be going to Mercedes or Red Bull as the reserve driver for next year. We'll have to wait and see, though. Um, 
that's all I really have to say about this race. It was kind of boring. Ferraris didn't really do much. Russell didn't do much. Perez was just meh. Hamilton could really... I, I guess Hamilton was like the only driver who could really like be close to him or really challenge him. Uh, Verstappen. But Verstappen was just too quick, man. So, I mean, he's just... He, he, he really is showing off how dominant he can be when he has a good car with him in a good team. Um, it would be, it'd be difficult for someone to stop him next season. I do hope that, that, that next season will be a good title fight. I'm hoping because I'm waiting. And obviously now, and obviously with the cost cap um, penalties being applied, I think was like 10%. Um, less wind tunnel, I'm pretty sure. And... Uh, massive fine I think it was like a 7 million dollar fine I'm pretty sure um, that might hinder Red Bull quite a lot hopefully I'll be honest just so you know it'll be a good tile fight and everything um, but it would be difficult though it would be very difficult though to start with Red Bull racing with how dominant they have been so that's it for Mexico let's now have a look at the driver standings because why not really I mean the I mean the battle for second is very Interesting to say at least. I mean, look at that. Verstappen just has a massive lead over Perez. Just Jesus Christ, man. Uh, well, the second place. And he's still up for grabs though. Perez was in second place. It's five points in front of Charles Leclerc. They've got George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Esteban Ocon, Fernando Alonso, and Valtteri Bottas right now in the top 10. Then we have Sebastian, oh crap, Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, Kevin Magnussen, Pierre Gasly, Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda, Björn Guan Yu, Alexander Alpon, Nicholas Latifi ran out of the top 20, and the 21st 22nd drivers that being Nick DeVries, who will be, be now going to have, uh, up to Alpha Tari next season, and Nika Hulkenberg. So that is about it for Mexico. Once again, a very doozy race, pretty boring race, but it was interesting to see all the battles and Ricardo uh, making his way up the field after his collision with Sonoda. Other than that, nothing really much. Sao Paulo is next for the Brazilian Grand Prix at the at the Odromo Jose Carlos Pacha. So that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys the next time in the next one. Goodbye.